Okay, so here we're asked to solve the differential equation, and it looks bad, but it's actually relatively straightforward and simple, so it's just dy dx is equal to 4x plus 4x over the square root of 16 minus x squared. And remember, with differential equations, that the definition of a differential equation, that there's a, there's a derivative inside there, right? So we're going to be looking for that as we as we process our way through this problem today. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, is multiply both sides of this equation by dx. So now we're going to have dy is equal to 4x plus 4x over square root 16 minus x squared dx. And from here, we're allowed to start, right? We're going to take this here. So we're going to just say is 4x plus 4x over 16 minus x squared dx. And from here, I'm just gonna, we're going to start doing a little bit of work and breaking this thing out a little bit. So what I'm looking at here, I'm trying to figure out, is there something here that I'm supposed to see? So I'm looking at this part of the function right here, and I'm thinking, you know what? This Is this the derivative of that thing? So I'm going to go ahead and just start taking these things out. So hopefully you can see the four x's here. And the way I'm going to take this out... Remember that the derivative of this piece down here is negative 2x. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull out 2. And I'm going to get 2x. Now, this gets kind of weird for just a second, but look at it and see if it doesn't make sense. On this one, on this piece right here, I'm going to pull out negative 2. And look what happens here. Negative 2. I'm going to bring this thing up. Right? Oh, this, remember this was the square root up here, right? Of 16 minus x squared to the one, negative 1 half, right? And the derivative of the inside of this would be negative 2x, isn't it? So if you're wondering, why did I bring a negative 2 out here? I brought a negative 2 out right here. Here, actually, I should have gone ahead and brought a 4 out of here. So I bring a 4 out of here, and I bring a, ne a negative 2 out of here, right? So hopefully you can see why I did that, because I think this is the derivative, don't you? And then from here, we can go ahead, we can go ahead and integrate, can't we? So we'd get 4 times, and the derivative of this would be x squared over 2, wouldn't it? Minus 2 times, right? I'm going to take this piece right here, and it's going to be 16 minus x squared to the 1 half, right? Over 1 half, hopefully you can see that, right? Plus c. This thing doesn't turn out to be bad. It kind of freaks people out in the very beginning. Of course, we can see that this 4 and this 2 are, is 4 over 2, so that's 2. So 2x two squared. This comes up as its reciprocal, doesn't it? So this will go to negative 4, right? Whoops, negative, negative 4. And then this comes up, right? This piece comes down as its square root of 16 minus x squared plus c is our final solution. So I don't think it's horribly bad. Let's just go back really quick and see what happens here. So when you're given this question and you're asked to solve the differential equation, what we're going to do here is this. We're going to start by looking over here. We're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by dy dx, right? Because that's the form that we're used to it in, right? We're used to it in that kind of form f of u du, aren't we? So we're trying to kind of get to this place right here. So this is what I'm going to do, just multiply both sides by dx. We have it in that form, right? This gives us permission to go ahead and take the indefinite integral here, right? And from here, we have to really start looking. Wow, it's all dark. We have to really start looking at what we're being offered. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, you know what? If this is part of that function then the derivative of that would be negative 2x, wouldn't it? And I'm looking at that 4x, and I'm thinking, is my derivative hidden in there? And I think that it is. All right, I hope this video is helpful. I'm going to do another one, uh, I think, in uh, for separable and also for particular solutions. So give me your feedback. hope this was helpful.